Now that your terrain is starting to come alive with color and detail, I'm going to show you how to start adjusting the skies above it all. First, you want to move to a point which you can see the sky clearly, and you'll notice it's been the same blue-gray color the whole time. Go ahead and go up to Terrain, and then click on Time of Day. You'll notice the Time of Day tool consists of three main parts. You have the Tasks, you have the Timeline, and you have the Parameters. They go ahead and underneath the tasks, click the Toggle Advanced Properties, and you'll notice a bunch more parameters on the right-hand side come about. You can adjust every single one of these, and every single one of these is adjustable based on the timeline itself, based on a 24-hour period, as you see below. Watch as I move this slider on the sky, and it'll actually change the time of the day and where the sun is in the sky, as well as whether or not you can see stars, any clouds, any blueness in the atmosphere. You can also change it by clicking 0, 12, or 24 up at the top. Now, clicking on the parameters on the right-hand side will bring up the actual option inside of the timeline. You'll notice as I click on this, it will bring up green line with yellow dots. You can also add dots by double-clicking, but as the day continues forward, it will adjust the option accordingly based on the line that you have set here. Now, whenever you click on something that asks for a color, it's not going to bring up the box with a color gradient that you're used to. It's going to bring up a red, green, blue system, as you see here. Now, watch as I pick the sun intensity, and I move the time forward as it jumps way up right here on the graph. You'll notice that is the exact point in which the sun sets quickly, and that's why it's at such a steep angle here. With all of these options being changed throughout a 24-hour period, you can also set this to play at zero, which means that you can have a static sky. Now, I'm going to go ahead and change this play speed to a high number real quick. And we're going to hop in game so you can take a look and see at how the sun actually moves while you're playing with your character. And you can always hop in game at any point by pressing Control g and you'll notice, because I have it set to 20, how the sun's moving really fast through the sky. Now, normal play speed is 1. You can set that to 0 to have a static sky. I'm going to leave it as 1, so it'll switch between night and day as our player is playing. Now, another very useful tool is what's called the lighting tool. Now, this actually lets you adjust the more physical properties of the sun rather than the color and attunement properties of the sun. You can adjust the actual sun direction and where it travels through the sky, as well as give you the ability as control where the sun will rise on the horizon itself. You can see it by adjusting the slider here. It also gives you the ability to adjust the dawn and dusk time and duration, and how long it takes for the sun to move through those periods. Now, you may notice that the sky is still pretty much essentially looks the same, even though we've played around with the time of day. To change that, go to Environment, and then you'll see here under Skybox, you have two sets of materials. You have Material and Material Low Spec. To change either one of these, you're going to want to click on the three dots that appears to the right, and it'll bring up the Material Editor, just like before. Now, the difference between the two materials, between Material and Material Low Spec, is that one is for the Time of Day tool, that is for a dynamic sky, and the material low spec is for a static sky that simply doesn't change. Now you can add a new material to the roller bar by clicking on the arrow to the left of the three dots. You notice as I go through and click the various materials available and click the arrow, it'll change the sky that's still visible on the left hand side with clouds and different color blues. Now there are a lot of options inside of the time of day tool that we didn't mention or talk about. And there's just because there's too many to discuss. You can find a detailed description of all of the options that are set there inside of Crytex manuals that they have written up for you on crydev.net. I highly suggest you look at it. Now in the next section, I'm going to show you how to start getting your custom assets into the engine.